Today is not about dashboards and UI, but about how I've created a slightly smarter vacuum automation using persistent notifications. My vacuum runs at a set time every day, but some days I might not need it or I might want to delay it. Using this automation, I got rid of the hassle of walking over or opening the app to turn off the vacuum. For this to work, you will need some way of triggering a vacuum cycle. I have a script that trigger my rubber rock to vacuum under the dining table. Start by going to settings, devices, and services, helpers, and create two new toggle helpers. One called vacuum delay and one called vacuum cancel. Next, go into settings, automations, and create a new automation. I've split this automation up in five parts. It will make more sense later. This makes it easier for me to edit and control separate parts of the automation. This first part will send a notification to our phone. Add a time trigger. I want my vacuum to start at 6.45 p.m., so I want to receive this notification 15 minutes before at 6.30 p.m. Then I add a call service action. Search for notification and select your phone. Then type in your desired message and title. Tick data. And this is where we will add the options we get in the notification. First, write actions colon. Then add the first action as a child, like I show. You can call it whatever you want, but it has to be all uppercase. The title is what is going to be shown in the notification. Add a second option for delay as well. The third option I add is unnecessary. It will just discard the notification. Swiping it away does the same. Save the automation and give it a descriptive name. I add 01, indicating it's the first part. Create another new automation. This is going to be the automation that triggers either a cancellation or a delay if we choose one of those options. Start by adding a event trigger. Click the three dots and add edit ID. It is important that you add everything exactly like shown here, but if your data from the previous step is different to mine, you have to add that instead in the event data field. In the trigger ID field, add cancel underscore trigger. Now we could just duplicate this event trigger and edit the two values from cancel to delay. Moving on to the action section. Add a choose action. Open option one and click add condition. Choose triggered by. You'll then select the cancel underscore trigger. Then under actions, choose call service. In the service field, look for input boolean turn on. Under entity, select the vacuum underscore cancel helper we created in the very beginning. Now add a new option and do exactly the same, but this time select delay underscore trigger and the vacuum underscore delay helper. So what we've created here is an automation that turns on one of our helpers based on what we choose to do when receiving the notification on our phone. Save this part of the automation and let's move on to the next step. Create another new automation. This will be the automation that runs if we ignore the notification and just let the vacuum run like normal. Add a time trigger and set it to your desired time. In my example, it's 6.45 p.m. Click add condition and select state. Under entity, find vacuum underscore cancel and set state to off. Duplicate this condition and do exactly the same for vacuum underscore delay. Now we can add an action to run the vacuum like we want. This depends on what kind of vacuum you have, so I'm not gonna show exactly how to do this but usually you have to select call service and select a run vacuum service. Save this automation and let's create another new automation. This will be the one that runs if we choose to delay the vacuuming. This automation is very similar to the previous step, so I'm gonna run through it pretty quickly. The only difference is that I set the time to be 7.15 p.m., a 30 minute delay from our usual time. Then under conditions, I just set vacuum underscore delay to on instead of off. The actions section is the same as the last step. Save it, and let's move on to the last step of this automation. In case we have chosen to delay or cancel our vacuuming, we need to reset our helpers. Really simple, create a time trigger and set it to sometime during the night. I set mine to 23.59 p.m. Under actions, select call service, find input boolean turn off, and under entity, select both our helpers. Save it, and that is our new daily vacuum automation complete. I know this isn't revolutionary, but it makes my life slightly easier because I don't have to manually turn off the vacuum those days when I don't need it. I always have my phone with me, so now I can just open the notification to cancel or delay. Thanks for watching this video. Hopefully you have learned something about persistent notifications in Home Assistant. They can be really handy for a lot of things. Until next time.